Today I'm going to give you a little more extensive tour of my small and medium sized mining facilities and show you how I'm preparing for spring. So I'm standing in front of my office building. It's not very fancy. I'm here in a just a, you know low-end industrial office park. I don't like being in buildings that have to do things with elevators. I like to be able to drive my truck up to it and get things taken care of. I've experimented with a lot of different technologies before deciding to do um, deciding to do Bitcoin mining. You can see I'm doing stuff with 3D printing, with drones. Uh, I got my little office here with a stand-up desk and was doing things with drones. That's a, another business that we've got but uh, really focused on the Bitcoin and altcoin mining right now. Got a workshop. It's kind of messy. My big deal is to keep costs low and make money as soon as you can. If you keep costs low and uh, make money, then everything else follows later on. Uh, this is what my son's been building a lot of the uh, GPU miners lately. And we've got uh, empty boxes. I keep the empty boxes because for the first 30 days I can return them to Newegg and then uh, after that, then I just use the two-year warranty uh, that they've got. I've got a, a little machine that I do uh, testing uh, graphics uh, cards on here. So a little single one where I plug it directly into uh, the machine, testing a nano here right now. Looks like I've got uh, three cards that are bad that I've got to send back. Um, then I'm going to walk outside here and show you from the outside so you get an idea of what things look like. So this is again it was my small space so I've got a 10,000 cubic feet per minute fan here and um, got a, uh, an intake vent and I'll show you what that looks like inside. We're getting ready for spring here there's a lot of pollen in Georgia and um, so I moved all the Bitcoin miners over to the medium facility because it's filtered. This place is not filtered and it really builds up. Um, and I'm also doing a lot of uh, Zcash and Z Classic mining as well as uh, I'm doing more dash mining and so that's primarily what I'm doing here I'll show you uh, that here so I've reconfigured a few different things so you can see I've got um, my GPU miners I'm using AMD RX 480s and uh, some nanos uh, now I've got some more bicols I've got nine of them um, only seven are working right now I gotta figure out the other two and uh, so I've got uh, six connectors here that can do 240 volt, 30 amp. These are the first three mining rigs that I did. I didn't know what I was doing back then, but I just moved them in here because um, I had them in the regular part of my office to uh, keep it warm during the winter. I'm not going to need that during the spring. So um, anyway. So these are the, the mining rigs, and uh, some of my early wooden ones are starting to fall apart uh, from the hot glue and the other things like that. So I'm moving everything over to these. Um, this one's kind of falling apart too. And you can see that these are, cards are, are getting too close together. They're working okay now, um, but they're, they're, they need to be farther apart as it gets hotter during the summer. So anyway, that, that's my small setup. Um, by doing GPU mining and also uh, doing dash mining, I'm, I'm limited to about 160 amps here. I, I should be able to make good money. My lease on this place is about $1,000 a month, and for eight months of the year, my electricity is about uh, $1,800 a month, and I get internet for about 100 bucks a month. And so my total costs are uh, usually around three thousand dollars for eight months of the year and then the way ele electricity works here in the small commercial is uh, For four months of the year it, it gets more expensive. So my electricity bill turns out to be about uh, Three thousand dollars a month then so that's a uh, that's a small facility uh, I'll head over to the big facility or the medium-sized facility now and show you what we're doing to get ready for spring there Okay, here's a second part on my medium-sized Bitcoin facility on what we're doing to get ready for spring you can see behind me that we've got the, um, our facility is just the one on the end cap here. It used to be uh, a paint shop for autos and then uh, after that it was uh, 
gardening type things, landscaping. You can see we got the big transformer on the side. We got two intake fans on the bottom and then two exhaust fans on the top. The design is so that we can uh, add two more exhaust fans and two more intake fans uh, into that garage door. So I like being part of an industrial type uh, warehouse like this. Uh, they're all over the place, they're available. You can lease them. And uh, if you can make sure that the power run is not very long, then the electrical part isn't expensive. Of course, what's even better is if you can find a place that already has a big transformer and already has a bunch of power brought in, but I wasn't that lucky. I'm gonna go a little bit closer and show you why. I've got, I, I bought spare filters. Um, you can see them in the back of my truck here. And uh, I got 12 spare filters. And you can, I'm gonna show you the intake of the um, filter fans and you can see why I got these. So check it out, this is after a couple months of just build up. So you can see why I need to replace the filters and clean the ones that are there and then put the clean ones back in place. I'm gonna end up doing that every month here during the spring and uh, probably summer because we gotta maximize our airflow. Here I am on the front door of our mid-size Bitcoin mining facility. I'm gonna take you inside and show you what it looks like and uh, talk about what we're doing uh, for getting things ready for spring. So obviously we have video surveillance, alarm systems, things like that. Just a little bit of office space up here um, just to, enough to you know, let us do a, a little bit of work here and there. And um, then we've got in here, got a little workbench where we uh, repair the, the ant miners. Uh, got network, got a couple little network uh, connections coming in. And um, then uh, pallets with boxes. I like to keep the boxes. Um, here's the inside of the facility so you can see that we've got the exhaust fans up top and as summer comes we're going to seal off this room completely just so we can maximize the airflow. It's not at all fun and games. Ended up being able to clean the filters. You got a nice big tub. Spent a few hours doing this today. It's not, uh, it's not all lots of fun. 